This video is about an idea I have for a new training and employment agency that hopefully could be created in this town. And this agency could, A, you know, get up with the different employers out there that want to participate. They could have listings of jobs that are available. Uh, they could also have a Facebook page that would help in promotion of the different listings that they have. But also this agency could uh, get up with the employers and create training videos to where they can help in the process of orientation. They could take on the uh, the big burden or the bigger responsibility of that orientation. In other words, they can, um, you know, maybe work with a production company or whatever, like I have mentioned in other videos, and go to the different employers, find out what uh, jobs that the employers offer and the, um, the type of employees that they want and maybe the different job tasks. See, that's one thing that I think catches a lot of people by surprise, even when they go through just like the regular orientation, which I mean, everybody needs the basic, generic, general orientation. But also, if an employer can break down the different tasks expected of its employees for each job, that would help a lot. And I think if that could be filmed and discussed um, and, and really brought to light, that would help a lot of people who, you know, get hired and go through the orientation so that at least they know kind of what they're getting into. They kind of have some general idea as to what might be expected of them. Uh, I think it would be a would be a huge help. Um, and, you know, if this agency had, had the people uh, that could, you know, to take on the task of training, you know, as well as having the uh, potential new employee, you know, watch videos and do paperwork, the uh, instructor can kind of do a hands on uh, assessment of the uh, the new employees and kind of walk them through like they they themselves can be kind of trained a little bit in the different tasks and they can discuss this with the class and kind of help them um, you know with the learning process of their jobs I think that would be great say like if you're say like for instance if a, if a new sewing plant came into the area which I wish would, but anyway, um, if it did, then maybe there could be a sewing machine set up in one of the rooms to where, uh, you know, the instructor can kind of show um, the uh, new employees, uh, you know, the different types of, of, uh, of uh, jobs that uh, they would be expected to learn. So like if they were doing back tacking, which is sewing the sleeves or bottom hemming or whatever, the instructor could go through the process and show the new employees kind of what is expected as well as, you know, the films, uh, you know, that they'll be watching or whatever. They can actually get kind of like a little bit of a hands on type thing uh, and even computers, whether they're getting a computer job, uh, the instructor can kind of, you know, help them do that um, hands on. You know, sometimes one on one or whatever, um, you know, as well as say like if a call center came into the area, they could help instruct them of the protocol for doing that. I mean, there's just so many things, you know, that that could be taught in and. and train and, and that burden would be kind of alleviated off the company because. Let's take, for instance, say like if you're working, if you're getting a new job in the kitchen. Well, you know, anybody, some people say, well, anybody can work in a kitchen, but it depends on where you're working and, you know, what is basically expected of you. Because let's say you get a job in a nursing home and let's say one day you might be an aide and the next day you might be the dishwasher and then the next day you might be a cook or whatever. Well, there's different tasks involved in those different jobs. And it may come down to where, you know, you have to measure things. Um, with certain utensils, like you might have to 
scoop out uh, the vegetables with a four ounce scoop? Well, you would need to know that. You would need to know, you know, what type of equipment you're going to be working with and, you know, uh, the serving sizes and maybe what you need to do if you're dealing with puree diets. And um, maybe you need to know about uh, what you need to do for the dish machines because there's different ma dish machines out there. There's high temperature dish machines. There's low temperature dis dish machines. Um, and you need to know, you know, what is expected as far as, you know, what your temperature ranges need to be and what uh, the detergents uh, what the parts per million needs to be for that. You need to know what, you know, when you dip your stick in there in the detergent area, when you pull it out and you look at the little, uh, the slip that's on the side of your bottle uh, to check it, you need to know what the proper range is. I mean, there's so many different things, and I'm just using that as an example that. Uh, you may get the job and you may not realize that until you actually get at the, the the job facility or your new employer. And then you may say, oh, God, you know, and there may be things that the average person training you might not remember. They may not remember to go through all that. They may not remember to tell you to dip your stick in the thing and, and you have to log your temperatures. They may not be able to tell you. Um, all the different utensils that you need or whatever. It would kind of be helpful if there was a training video in an instructor there during your orientation to kind of let you know that's what you're going to get into. That's kind of what you're going to need to be required to know before you get the job. And then that way there's not so much of a surprise you know, when you start working there and then you got people there expecting you to know what the heck you're doing and you don't. And, you know, and then like, let's say someone trains you and, and, and a few days later, your boss comes up and says, well, how come you did, how come you're not doing that? How come you're not using the four ounce scoop? How come you're not, you know, logging your temperatures? How can, you know, and your answer is the usual stock answer is, well, nobody told me, nobody trained me. Well, if a training video could be created, <clears throat> to where you're kind you know they touch upon that and you're kind of told about that that would be a huge help i mean that that would be a, a really gigantic help <clears throat> for the employer so that means you know that kind of takes that weight off you know the employer as well as the person training you even though i mean naturally if they can remember to train you and and do it right then great but sometimes things get skipped especially if you're you know if it's a busy day people are in a hurry you know things get forget or forgotten shall i say and so this i think if there was a you know a training agency out there that could really do that and you know kind of take care of that burden, that would be a, you know, a big, huge benefit to companies. So that's just an idea I have for that. And also, um, I would want to mention that, you know, the the doors would be pretty much open. Like during the day, people could come in and say, hey, do you, do you know of any openings? Do you know of any openings in housekeeping? Do you know of any openings in so-and-so? And it would kind of act like an employment agency, like, you know, we used to have an employment agency or unemployment agency, whatever you want to call it here in town years ago well that you know this company could say yes there's an opening it's you know it's so and so go by blah, blah blah and they can you know help you figure out where you need to go and then you know like i said then when it comes time for you to go through orientation they can take care of that for you so i, I think that kind of needs to be brought back in this community and it would be beneficial, and especially if we get new businesses in here, you know, they may be, you know, busy and they, you know, they kind of want employees to kind of, you know, know what they're doing, know what they're getting into um, and have them trained uh, before they jump in there. You know what I mean? Uh, because I think that. I've noticed there's a lot of turnovers in different businesses, and I think it's because people don't know what they're getting into. And, you know, they come into the job and all of a sudden all this stuff is getting thrown at them and they had no clue that that's what they were going to be expected to do. And they're like, whoa, you know, and wouldn't you rather as an employer, wouldn't you rather have someone if they're going to quit, quit during orientation once they see uh, the films and they see what's expected of them and they decide, hey, uh, I don't want to do that. 
<clears throat> wouldn't you rather they go ahead and quit then rather than you go through the process of getting them through orientation and then having someone waste their time training them and have them work like a week or so and then quit? Wouldn't it be better that if they're going to quit, they quit you know, in the very beginning so that then you can get somebody else in there that maybe would enjoy the job or would be, you know, a better fit for the company. But yet they just need that training. They need that little bit of uh, knowledge beforehand and, and it would really help you out. So, yeah, but that's my video on that.